extra buttons and stuff going on here. Let's try this one more time, shall we? Okay, there we go. Live webcasting, this type of stuff happens. Got to get used to it. Anyway, for right now, this is our video weather blog, exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with an update as to what's going on with the forecast. Current conditions right about here. Forecast for today, highs in the mid-50s, lows tonight back in the mid to upper 30s. And, of course, you can catch all this on my various social media web pages all across the area there. Let's go ahead and get going and show you what's going on right now. A little bit more cloud cover around the National Mall in D.C. Not seeing, again, a great deal of rainfall or major problems with weather all the way across the Mid-South and throughout the rest of the area. Plenty of sunshine. The camera in and around Germantown, uh, Tennessee. Again, you can look back into the area close to in and around Germantown Parkway and back over to around the area of, let's see if I can get the mouse to work right about here, anybody's back over to around portions of Poplar Pike at this time, so looking at plenty of sunshine in and around the area. There are Tim B's webcam from the Weather Underground Network in Mineral Wells, Mississippi, very close to Olive Branch, Mississippi, showing plenty of sunshine out there in blue skies. Next few hours, winds in the red bar will be back into the 10 mile per hour range or so, and no rainfall expected with plenty of sunshine out across the area. Likewise, into the course of the rest of the day today, temperatures should be in the mid to upper 50s for highs as we get into later on this afternoon, about the time the kids get out of school. Rest of the day today, again, numbers again, we should be pushing about 11 hours plus of sunshine for today and looking at no rainfall in the area. This is not exactly good news because we are well behind where it comes to rainfall, about two and a third inches behind for the entire month, so we could definitely use some more rainfall to take care of that. Not likely to see any anytime soon. 59 and 40 are high and low temperature yesterday. 60 and 41 is where we should be for this time of the year, so decently not doing too bad where it comes to anything involving the uh, temperatures for yesterday across much of the Mid-South area. Heading into tonight again, could be a little bit on the cooler side out there as numbers reach down into the lower to mid 40s to mid to upper 30s out across much of the area. Temperatures through the rest of the morning into this afternoon back into around the mid to upper 40s to around the lower 50s. We're not going to be seeing anything in the way of very cold weather, but these winds coming down from out of the northeast are going to be making things rather on the chilly side throughout much of the rest of the day today. So if you're heading outdoors, jacket or a coat would be a good idea. No umbrella necessary for today. Should be, again, a great day to open up those blinds and the drapes and get that free solar heating going on. Rest of the day today, again, temperatures into tonight past sunset will be dropping off fairly rapidly through the upper 30s to around the lower 40s. And also seeing again some fairly cool numbers right on into early morning tomorrow around News Channel 3 Daybreak. So if you're going to be up and joining us for the latest day up, update on the news, day, weather, and sports, Need some more coffee. Sorry about that. Looking in mid to upper 30s across much of the area. A few lower 40s around the metro, but not doing too bad out there. Rest of the forecast, again, we're not seeing anything in the way of severe weather taking place throughout the course of the day today or likewise into the weekend. It's just going to be pretty much entirely too dry across the area. Now next week we could be looking at the possibility of some more thunderstorms coming on through. Nothing showing up at this time where it comes to the forecast mid 50s throughout the rest of the day with plenty of sunshine out across much of the area. Sunshine for Saturday but that will be replaced by more cloud cover coming our way into the rest of the day. Mid 60s again for Sunday. The winds will be turning back around out of the south and that will be keeping the temperatures up into the rest of the week. And scattered showers could be a bit of a thing coming our way as we get into around Sunday evening, but we're talking about late Sunday evening, post dinner time, and mainly to around the Monday side of midnight afterwards. More showers possible as we go toward Monday afternoon and evening. Tuesdays, where we see the possibility of maybe some stronger weather heading our direction. Again, so far, it does not look to be anything in the way of major amounts of problems just yet, but we are keeping our eyes on that. And please keep up to date with News Channel three throughout the rest of the weekend as we keep you updated as to what may be going on with that particular situation. Now beyond that, another chance of thunderstorms as we get into around next Friday or so, but that's going to be about it. Otherwise, again, so far not looking anything in the way of severe weather, but this is the time of the year to keep up on and we'll do that throughout the rest of the weekend. For those of you with friends, loved ones, relatives serving in the United States military, here's a look at weather where the troops are. We've got temperatures back in the upper 60s to around the lower 70s with plenty of sunshine, a little more clouds up around the Mosul area. Heading back toward the Persian Gulf, temperatures back in the mid to upper weights with winds out of the north at about 14 miles per hour and plenty of sunshine there. In Afghanistan, on the other side of the planet, snow falling around Faizabad, which again is not unheard of, but a little bit on the rare side 
side for this time of the year in eastern parts of Afghanistan. 50s around Herat, 40s clear skies in Kabul, 64 degrees back up toward the Kandahar area in the southwest part of the country. DMZ, some parts of the China Sea, numbers back in the 30s and 40s with mostly clear skies. Kusan looking at a few clouds and temperatures back into the 40s across much of the area there. Guantanamo Bay in Cuba, temperatures back to around 80 degrees. So far, that's the high for the day. Plenty of sunshine, north winds about 5 miles per hour, and no rain to report there. Want to know more about getting ready for severe weather? We are in the prime severe weather season for this area of the country. Anywhere between January and April, this is the time to get ready for severe weather, and now is the time to make certain that you have got everything ready to go because this is going to be again the time of the year where we see the worst of the worst possible storms coming on through here. These are the meetings that you want to take a look at over on the right hand side. Coming up in the course of the next several days and weeks there's about maybe a dozen of these meetings left over and they will be occurring at various points. These are taught by the National Weather Service meteorologists and personnel so it's your opportunity to learn more about what's going on with severe weather. These meetings last about an hour, hour and a half. It's a great opportunity for you to learn more how to get prepared for severe weather. I've seen kids as young as eight or nine years old uh, take these courses. It's a good way to kind of get a grasp on what seems to be kind of an uncontrollable situation. So please keep this in mind. It might be a good idea to make certain you know more about this and keep up to date with where these are located by going to this website right here, wreg.com slash weather. Thanks to everybody for sending in some great pictures over the last couple of days. Storm damage in Finley, Tennessee from under Score Jacqueline Stafford. Thank you very much for that. Camaro 28 Always Sunrise from Somerville, Tennessee, just a couple of days ago. And another beautiful early morning shot from Louis Haskett for a sunset yesterday. So a great opportunity to see some of that around the Mid South. Got anything you'd like to tweet to us? Aonic underscore WREG3 and tweet them, tweet them along. We'll do what we can to pass them on. Don't forget about the Memphis AM radio show wrapping up right now, but heading into Talk Back Live with Bob and Josh, my radio forecast available on on AM 730 Yahoo Sports Radio Monday through Friday from 7 to 9 a.m. And you can check out more on the forecast this weekend on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network, Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. Want to know more about astronomy? Go to Christian Brothers University tonight. The Memphis Astronomical Society will be holding their monthly meeting starting at 8 p.m. Topics will be variable star observations by Chris Maloney and Supernova 1987A, 30th anniversary of the discovery of that. That will be in the auditorium of CC Hall. Can't really see that down toward the bottom section of the screen, but that will be where it's located. You can go to From CBU on Twitter to get more information about Christian Brothers, and it's also available on the social media networks on Facebook uh, as well well as on Instagram, if I'm not mistaken. Don't forget to get our app as well. Whatever platform you've got, go ahead and download our app today. Search WREG Weather in whatever platform that you've got. Stay tuned for more throughout the rest of the day with Tim and Jim past News Channel 3 at noon, where I'll be giving you your complete forecast. And, of course, I'll have all the details on the weather coming up on throughout the entire weekend on News Channel 3, so you can find out more about what's going on there. You can also find out more if you're watching on Periscope and Twitter. Glad to keep you updated on what's going on with the weather across the Mid-South, but there's questions, concerns, ideas, go to this website. You can contact me through here. You can also send me a link, uh, information otherwise, at austin.onic at wreg.com. Grateful to have you along for the ride, so please let me know what I can do to bring you more weather information that you want to see on here. I'd love to know more. I'm not psychic, so you have to tell me these things, so please let me know if there's something that I can do to make this a more enjoy enjoyable weather blog experience for you on this. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik wrapping up today's edition of Weather Blog Weather Overtime. And stay tuned for more throughout the rest of the weekend on News Channel 3 on air and online.